Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So today we are finishing up the Carl versus Steve all the insults compilation. It has been really fun to listen through so far. I'm excited. So here we go. And I press it. What did I just press? Lunch time. Spend, you'll be happy to That's spend 20 that. quid on lunch. Imagine that every single day. There's no one out there who's eating lunch, 20 quid a day on lunch. It's crazy. You don't need that much food at lunchtime. Like we, I know what happens. You go in there, you have some kind of, you know, tiger in curry for lunch. You're asleep by 1.30. We're trying to work. We're trying to write TV shows. And you're dozing off like one of those giant anacondas that's just eating a sheep. <laughs> and it's slowly digesting it. It takes like three weeks. He doesn't eat, Carl, he does not like this. But he, he, he'll, go, he'll walk a mile out of his way to get a sandwich for it. Having an argument over that 50p that time. <laughs> I don't want to bring no, here's the situation, Carl. Yeah. I lent you 50p and you decided you weren't going to pay me back. It should be to my discretion if I say, don't worry about it, Carl. You should offer me the 50p, go, there's that 50p I owe you, and I'll go, don't worry about it, Carl. But you didn't even do that. No, it's the way that you were, like... I said, where's my 50p? You went, oh, you don't need that. That's not your decision to I, have. Didn't, I didn't say that. I said, I, I, I don't think I've got it at the moment, or whatever. Rubbish. And he's going through my pockets and that. Rubbish. 50p. Ridiculous. Mm. You've just given him a keg of beer for free, haven't you? Well, let's, let's not go over it again. Here we are then. We're back. XFM 104.9. Carl had to leave early last week, but, um, you, can you stay to the end this week, mate? Or... Yeah. Yeah? You don't, you don't need another holiday. Oh! Oh, he's started already. I mean, you Steve's know, made you look like a bit of a twat already. And it's only five past one. But the only reason you don't go on holiday is because you have to spend money. <laughs> oh, and he's gone straight back! Well, he's gone straight back! <laughs> I can't come back to that. Oh, it's just, dear. It's just, uh, it's dynamite. It's just I mean, absolute. Yeah, that was, that was well, last holiday, the yeah, chase. Last holiday, Steve had, he, he sort of found a third world country so he could live like a Ooh. king for a week. It was Cuba, wasn't it? Going to Cuba, amazing. You can leave, you can almost rule the place. <laughs> if it weren't for Castro, I'd have been in charge. Kind of cash I was flashing around. <laughs> they do, do anything for a dollar over there. It's extraordinary, no. literally. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely. And I went to Kenya so, before so, that. So he thought the prostitute said no. Mm. You were going. <laughs> yeah, well, it was two dollars. I mean, I'm not made of money. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, oh, I genuinely, I, I really, it does frustrate me that I don't get any allowance. It for doesn't count cancel. as a disability. Well, it does count. No, it doesn't. It's not a disability being six foot seven. But yes. how can you explain, for instance, you know, travelling on a bus the, or a coach? There's some the things only advantage is uh, um, people look. At, I've, I've seen people stare at you. Um, but they stare at me because I've been on the telly. Was that a disability? Are that people being recognised? Yes, but you could avoid that by not being on the telly. It's your choice. This yeah. is my point. It's your choice. Yeah. It's yeah. the same okay. as the big fat people. And it's their yeah. choice. It's a different sort of stare, isn't it? I've been there. Yeah. When, you know, the sort of stare that you get in the sort of Steve's sort of stare. Well, Steve obviously gets. I'm going to... Sorry, Steve, but I'm going to, you know, follow up this inquiry. What do you mean, Carl? No, so I'm just saying it's more of a stare of, of fear than... <laughs> like with you, they go, oh, it's him. Yeah, go on. Whereas with you, it's more like... Jeez. <laughs> where's the monkey news? Yeah, where is well, the we, monkey we, news? We're not going to do uh, Freak of the Week here. Okay. Right? Because we've we've done quite a bit of that in the last 20 minutes. We've right? so we'll on that. Freaks, you think? Yeah. Sure. We'll just shift it a little bit. Okay. Uh, I don't like to keep saying, don't want people to be thinking we're sort of taking the mick out of anyone. <laughs> no. Right? Because... We're not about that. I feel that, like I can do a little bit of it because I work with with you, Steve. Yeah. Right? <laughs> sure. It, it gives yeah. me that right. It's like a care worker. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like that thing of you can't be homophobic because I've got a couple of gay mates and sure, stuff. Sure. Sure. It, I think, it sort of gives me that edge. Yeah. Mm. Right. So, so you're not freakophobic because you work with Steve. No, that's right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, well, they, I think... they, by, by, by that token, I should be able to sort of slag off, you know, the mentally ill. Or mean? at least mentally handicapped. Ooh. Um, I had some exciting news this week, Carl. You'll be pleased yeah. to find out. Um, I, I, I'm worried that you might get a little bit jealous, because it's obviously going to impact on your world quite strongly. Because I know you think, you'd like things to be quite, the, quite you know, samey. You'd like the status quo to be maintained. you like the fact that in the past, you know, we've had some crosswords. You know, because you've, I remember, what did you think of me when I first walked in? When I first came in on the yeah, first well, day of XFM. I don't know why you're making a big deal. Do you want to bring it? Because do you want I, to I'm just being honest, to... though. I'm just well, being honest about a lot of people who see you for the first time sort of go, well, he's a bit weird. 
Ooh, ooh, I don't that Steve that you brought it up. And then you're again But I'm sure that wasn't what he said before. No Did he, he didn't. said before I Yeah, well, well he was I, a bit weird. Yeah, well I, he looked at you and uh, I knew I could see by the look of his face. You know when uh, when you know you your kid and your kid's sort of scared of something and they go, Why does your kid he goes, Oh, he doesn't like pigeons or spiders. Right. It was like that. When I saw Carl and I brought you in and I went, What do you think of that, Carl? I could see the look on his face that he d he was disturbed. Sure. And then as he said you get used to it, don't you? Yeah, you get used to it. And you, and you have changed a little bit. Your hair's a bit smarter now, and you've got some nicer glasses and that, I think. <laughs> or I might have just got used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Don't bring it up, Steve. Don't well, look at me like that. So you say that you think Very some terrible. other people in the office thought the same? Do you know that for sure? Carl. Did you discuss it? <laughs> Carl. Yeah, I think I think they do, yeah. Okay, leave it there, then. But not just in the office. As you walk through <laughs> the building. <laughs> oh, it's, it's worse than you ever thought. You're terrible. Poor Steve. Who do you think's cooler to look at, Steve or the Chemical Brothers? Steve. Definitely, yes. You're absolutely right, Carl. And that's the first sensible thing you've said if, for a long time. If I was time. to work with Steve on, on some music, yeah. if I had the choice, I think Steve would look better on a album cover. Really? Yeah. What would you do? Would you change him at all? To, what would you do with his I'd, image? I'd put him in the distance so I would be... <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is... This no, just is so you don't look as tall, that's doing you a favour. <laughs> you know, I was on the... This is true. I was on the, uh, uh. on the tube. Right, coming in to meet Gervais the other day, and I was wearing a suit, and I, my mobile Dude. phone slipped out of my pocket, and it landed on the seat, and I didn't realise it. And as I was about to get off, some bloke who was sat there, like an old guy, he picked up the phone. He went, "Oi, uh, lanky, you dropped your mobile phone," <laughs> and I was like, "Well, I thank you for pointing out I dropped my phone, but did you have to do the lanky?" But you knew who he meant. I bet you turned round straight away. It worked. <laughs> you knew he meant Steve. Yes, but he's done you again. But I was the only up. person stood up. It was a fairly empty train. Was it? Was mm. there any other lanky people there? No. Well then. Is lanky? Yeah. Uh, Before we uh, carry on, is me. lanky? Does it carry like weight as an offensive thing? Because here people just say lanky to describe someone that's like long and lean and it's I've never seen it used in a hurtful way it's just like my dad before retirement and gaining a little weight he was lanky he's still lanky he's just got some meat on him now I know a lot of lanky people but it's not a bad thing here it's just you know you might say you know someone curvy or thick or Petite, you know, someone who's built small. My mother-in-law is petite. Lanky is just one of those types of terms. It's not a mean thing here at all. Like if I walked up to a lanky guy and said, wow, you're lanky, he wouldn't get offended. I, I doubt it anyway, unless things have changed. Um, but I've called people lanky before and it's not been. I'm just wondering if that's the difference between the USA and the UK, that Lanky is hurtful there to someone who is lanky. People there. No, what then? Um, yeah. Before we uh, carry on with anything, I should just tell you, we're, we're on the subject of emails. There's one emailer we're always looking forward to hearing from. Dickers! Richie Anderson! Anderson. Dicky Ducky Doo! Richard Anderson, thanks for emailing. He's, and, uh, my, uh, he's my biggest fan. He's now. one of the biggest he fans. He absolutely loves me. But not afraid to offer some constructive criticism. Go on, that's the great said. thing about Dickie. And from Anders this week, he says, Ricky, I'm lazy, I talk nonsense, I'm badly organised, and I believe in ghosts. Can I have a job working on your show? <laughs> um, uh, possibly, uh, Anders, maybe send in a CV. Or email a TV. He's put a little bit of all of us in that, hasn't exactly. he? <laughs> oh, well, I'll ask him if he's a goggle-eyed freak, Steve. All right, calm down. Well, no, I didn't mean no, there's no need to get insulted. No, I didn't necessarily no mean nasty. you, no did I? No need to get nasty. Well, well so I was thinking yeah. about that, actually, Steve. Oh, God. <laughs> Just talking of... of the old, uh... What? What? Talking of the what? No. Do you know, like... This better be good. No, you don't have that many girlfriends and that. What, what do you mean? Carl, why are we on this? I wasn't- I was defending you in the whole monkey discussion. Come on, what's oh, your point? No, what's your point? What's your point? No, what's the point? What's the point? I just was thinking... <sighs> if there was an infinite number of Steves? <laughs> <laughs> you're not- you, you know, you're an odd-looking fella. Uh, come on, Carl, get to the- No, you know I know that. Quick. I've told you that loads of times. What do you quick. mean, you know I know that? Well, there's no point pretending anymore. <laughs> Steve, I'm- I'm flabbergasted. But also, you don't like spending money. Right. He's mean and weird looking. Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, 
are you sort of, uh, oh. 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 you know? <laughs> You've got to love him now, haven't you? What, what are you happier with? The fact that no girls like you enough, right? <laughs> this is meant, this is really mental. Or, yeah, are but you Ricky's happy because just, you don't have to- It's really mental, but Ricky's just sitting there letting it happen, like he's the- Maybe not instigator, although I feel I think he did instigate that. Perhaps not that one. But he's just letting it happen, like he's sitting back with his popcorn watching them go at each other. Man, this is really mental. Or are you happy because you don't have to spend any money on a card for someone? Which... A little from column A. A little from column B. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have so let's have more monkey news. What well, have we got? No, we've got a We've got so answer. much to get into this show. Insults. We don't stupidity. need the insults. I think we've got enough. We don't need the insults. Yeah, there's no more insults. No what more insults. What angers me with Carl is you know he's been planning that. No, I haven't. I, I was well, I was thinking about it on the way in because Valentine's Day is coming up and I'm not a big fan of it. Right. Condoms? You bought your girlfriend a box of condoms for Christmas. I don't think you can have a go at me. <laughs> to no, be fair. No, but I don't just treat her on Valentine's. I'm always... Do you know what I mean? You don't even treat her on Valentine's. You don't even treat her at Christmas or on her <laughs> birthday. On when do you treat her? Hang on a minute. Wait a cotton picking minute there. Oh, uh, why I I heard that in a minute. What? Wait a minute. What was that? Tiffany Dog. I treat your girlfriend better than you, and I've only met her twice. <laughs> That's pretty bad. 150 quid? Yeah. What, and gift vouchers? Yeah. To spend at the same places? Mm. I'd have to say, though, I mean, it's not a very inventive gift, is it? It's Whoever a came up thought, with it, though. It's a lovely thought. It's wonderful to have 25 pounds that I can, I can only spend in two places I never go in. But, uh, no, no, I'm not, so I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth. Any I'm not anyway. looking a gift horse in the mouth. It, it is a treat. It My only thought, he spoke to Jonathan Ross like he was a normal person. It uh, is a treat. From someone whose dad buys him a spade for Christmas, I thought you'd be grateful. <laughs> Um, so ungrateful, really. Yeah. Because mm. I can't remember the time my dad bought me anything. It's always my mum who bought kettle. it, and my dad would give her the money. Yeah. You got Ricky who's lost his go kart. <laughs> You've had a video bought for you, and you're still not happy. I just think you're selfish. Sometimes, all of us, I feel like, are uh, have moments where we just have no self awareness where. We're, we say something, or maybe you haven't, or at least haven't realized it, where you say something to someone, and then later on, once you're maybe less emotional and less invested in that, and you look back at what you said, and you're like, wow, that statement really applied to me as well. Um, I think Carl's did. I love gift cards. At first, I didn't like them, like the concept, like, just give me money. But with a gift card, you can put it away, forget about it, and then have a treat later you know like my mom one time bought us a 25 dollar gift card to i don't know oh charlie's or something which they sell like steaks and uh, they have a really good corn on the cob and mashed potatoes and then they have alcohol you know but i forgot about the gift card because we never get to go out and then months later when we had a babysitter and my husband and i were able to go out on a date where should we go? And then I remembered the gift card and I'm like, oh, we get to save some money. So I like gift cards and to that extent, but they are also kind of, they can be useless depending on the person that receives them and where the gift card is too. But uh, anyway, I didn't mean to go off on that. Now it's intriguing to me because here's a film called Freaks featuring real life freaks and you're sort of a bit nonplussed by it. Just because it wasn't, because it's built up. If you call a video freaks, you've got to make sure that there's some good stuff on there. Yeah. Mm. What were you disappointed about? Was it no? Because there was a few things on it, right? There not was enough freaks. A woman who said she was half man, half woman, and it's like, well, you're not, are you? Eh? It was just like she had like some makeup on. I thought, well, that's rubbish. And then mm. there was a woman who could eat using her feet. That isn't that freaky. Do you know what I mean? If she's not hungry, she looks normal. Oh, yeah. And that's when I was thinking. <laughs> I mean, I'm not being, not being, right, Steve, you know I'm not being funny. Oh, here we go. No, 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 but I'm, I'm just saying, if that woman wasn't eating and you were sat next to her in that film, yeah. I'd probably be sort of drawn to you more than her. I'm not, I, I know you hate me saying it, but there's no point sort of pretending. Who is that, Ricky? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oi, Muttley, what are you, what are you sniggering about? <laughs> that, that, that face. <laughs> we 
what you, you mean there were, there were things in it that were less... What are you saying? Freakish. I'm just saying... Play a record. <laughs> Seriously, I'll <laughs> slap you. I'm gonna slap you live on air. Yeah, but you always go... I'm gonna... Right, I'm slapping you live oh, on air, I swear to God. Right, play a song then. He's playing a song. I'll play a song before. Keep the finger out. trying to say Ricky was more of a freak than the woman. Was that them? Were they fighting? <laughs> Wrestling around? It's it happening again, Steve. What's happening? It's going all wrong. Yeah. We're talking rubbish. Are we? Yeah. Probably. We should have played two in a row. He's having a go, isn't he? Blimey. Can I just kiss and make up with Carl? No, that is... No, let me just, let me just kiss my kiss. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't... Next, then next week it'll be the same again. What? It doesn't mean anything. It's like the same story. Oh. It's on the lips. Go on. He's oh, like... Carl? Yeah, oh, but for the moment... <laughs> I've never... Carl has oh, gone a absolute shade of purple, straining not to have merchants... There's no point, Steve. What no. There's no point. No, just shake. Just shake and make up. <laughs> <laughs> shake what, Rick? <laughs> there you go. All friends, sit down. This, that's lovely. That's a lovely moment. That's sweet, though. Half monkey, half woman. Kiss and make no. up. <laughs> not true. It happened, apparently. It was Impossible. In the, it was in the Daily Mail. What? Right. <laughs> okay. The Victorian ape woman was her name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, I christened uh, this uh, thing a Victorian Ape Woman. Well, we thought Sandra. No, I'm calling it Victorian Ape Woman. <laughs> she was about four foot. No, didn't happen. She had lovely thick black hair on her head and on the back of her legs. And her arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So stockings. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, and she, she didn't need a bustle because of her huge ape-like ass sticking was, out the back of her dress. She was good at reading and sewing. Um, well, they, well, it was good because they didn't have opposable thumbs. So, uh, <laughs> she could speak three languages. Yes. She, uh, was human, monkey, and monkey human. 20 offers of marriage. Does that annoy you, Steve? 20 <laughs> offers of marriage. Does that annoy you? Um, <laughs> ah, absolute twaddle. Yeah. Right, well, that more rubbish than your soul weighing an ounce. Let's leave A it Victorian there. monkey let's woman. Leave it there, then. See you next week with some more twaddle. <laughs> That's baloney. In my opinion. Peace train. Isn't that brilliant? Cat Stevens. Now, well, I've I've sort of enjoyed the last sort of, you know, hour or so after after the disappointment of the Sonys. Um I th I think we are gonna give up, to be honest. Um, do another week and then shoot off. Yeah, knock it on the head. Aww. Okay. We won't do it for a laugh end? anyway. But if they're not gonna reward us for that then do you know what I mean? it's not really worth it. But I I'll tell you what could but what about this? Carl, can you find out who was on the panel? Can you? But what difference does it make? Well, I want, to, I want you to interview. I want you to phone them up and, and I want to... The panel of who decided to take them off the air I'm, is what I'm assuming. Can you? But what difference does it make? Well, I want, to, I want you to interview. I want you to phone them up and, and I want to tell them why, why um, they didn't think our show was... Yeah, good. let them explain themselves. Just explain themselves. They've got to stand by their convictions. Find That's them fair. all. Track I'd them down. Know. There's probably about yeah, three... What do you expect then? I want You're to tell the truth. No, want... you're right. The monkey knew should have... You know, done the job for you. I, I just want people. Wrong. I don't want to be. I don't want to sit in a room and hide. I want the three people on the, on the panel. I'll find them out to say we didn't vote for you because we thought it was shoddy, amateurish, annoying. There was too much swearing. I go, mm. fair enough. Well done, yeah. mate. You. We didn't vote for you because Carl's voice is an irritant. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well done, mate. You're all right. Uh, we didn't vote for you. Because, uh, Gervais, you're a fat, useless git who understands nothing about broadcasting. And you might do something. <laughs> yeah. And I'll go, right, I'm not so happy with that, but at least you told the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But get them on the phone. Find out. Find out from Andrew. I yeah. noticed none get... of them have mentioned me, which is good. I they know, yeah. I'm pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. They probably all love Steve. Yeah. No one likes to pick on an invalid. Well, do you know what I mean? That's... I'm just... Wow, it's quiet. We've um, we got a player request here for, um, what's her name, who's... Don't leave it, Steve. Uh, Sonia, who's 18 so today. We quiet. couldn't find William. It was really nothing worth Smith because um, whoever is in charge of the library, uh, I mean, they probably won an award Why is Steve not but, saying you know, anything? She didn't ask for four non-blondes, so I found there is a light by the Smiths. So, a Makes week to go. Makes so me feel so bad for Steve. He didn't say anything. It's just, it's not, I'm not, I'm not. Oh, I think he just said I'm not an invalid. Did that really make him sad, sad? That's Feeder, just the way I'm feeling on XFM 
One of four point nine. Just the way I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Claire Sturgis. Well, he's defying me. He's not calling in. We're going to give out his number, and he's not calling in. That's even more annoying. What? Who do you think he is? I don't know who he thinks he is. I, I tell you what. He, I tell you who he is. Yeah. <laughs> he is a little bold Mancunian. Let's never That's let him forget that. Is. I don't know who he thinks he is, but there's the fact. I, just Carl, call in because you're annoying me and Steve. <laughs> he's been slagging you off as well, Steve. Well. Go on, what's in the week, you know, he was slagging you off. I mean, in the week, I was joining in and laughing along, but now I'm thinking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, but now I'm thinking that you're more on my side than he is. Thanks very much, Rick. I'm glad to see you've come round. <laughs> he said he was. Uh, I was in the uh, in the in the uh, pub with him and um, uh, Johnny. All oh, right, so there's a little audience. Good. <laughs> And he said, he went, oh, he went, have you seen Men in Black 2? I went, no. He said, have you, Johnny? He went, no. He went, oh, there's there's a thing in it that looks just like Steve. Mm. And I went, what? He went, it's a thing, he's got really gangly arms and, and uh, uh, bulbous eyes and it just works really fast in the uh, aliens registration thing. And I went, all right. I said, we'll bring that up Saturday. Since he's not here, you know, I th what do you think of that? Well, I... <laughs> I, just, I <laughs> the, the reason is, I think the problem I have with is this, that if, if I was to say things like that about Carl, mm. I'd destroy him. I, I, he'd be a broken man after I'd finished with him. <laughs> Call in, Carl, or Steve's gonna say a few things about you. I'm gonna get a couple of home just truths out there. I can't believe it. I do cannot it. believe it. Yeah, we, haven't, we, we were, uh, you know, at the time I was joining in, we were having, you know, slagging you off on other things as well. Sure, sure, But now sure. I'm thinking... If, if Carl's going to dish it, he needs to, to also take it that, you know, because as I've learned through your comments in this show, they pick at each other and that's part of how they're... Uh, social skills are and their friendship is so that's cool I've picked with friends male and female before um but if Carl is going to dish a certain level of insult or dig then Steve has every right to dish it back and if Carl um if it really bothers Carl, then he needs to thicken the skin up because he's dishing it out. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe I, I... Maybe you were wrong. Maybe I was... Yeah, maybe I was taking out the wrong person behind their back. <laughs> oh, the phone's going. Play that. Break a Oh, it might be Carl. Oh. This is later in the same show. Well, London. here's a bit of a turn up for the books. Carl Pilkington on the line. Uh -huh. Yeah, where you been? Why wasn't he there? Well, I'm off there, aren't I? Right. Okay, what's the matter with you? Just, um, just a bit bunged up and that, and got the shakes, got that sort of, Aww. that shaky thing to get. Yeah, that's because okay. you didn't eat last time when Suzanne was at work. Yeah, well, I think that's what brought it on. Plus, she was away in the week and I put some wet jeans on. <laughs> And that's, I think that's what's caused the problem. Well, when did you put them? On your head? No, they were just <laughs> on the maiden and the, the legs felt dry. But they just on the what? On the what? Have you, have on got the maiden? maiden? What was she doing there? <laughs> what do you mean? On the maiden that you put clothes on. What? You your clothes, clothes horse? Maiden. Your clothes horse. Well, yeah. Right, no, okay, so is. you put wet jeans on, yeah? So uh, that's why I'm ill on that. Yeah. I've right. been having a good time, I've been watching the football. So you're just sitting at home watching telly, where you could have been sitting here? Well, I would have been better off there, because I've got a chair there. I've got no chair at home at the moment, because I sold it last week. Why did you sell a chair? I what, you only have one chair? What? Look, can't we just, um, I just was calling up to let you know I was all right and that. We're not interested in that, we want to know about the chair. <laughs> I sold it, I had a little two-seater, and I, I sold it, because I'm getting a new one, but I've got to wait another month. So you've got to sit on the floor for so a month. So you sold a chair Why before you, you had it? another yeah. one. Well, she might not have wanted to buy it in a in a month or something. Mm. So I got rid of it whilst I could. She was all right, buddy. Makes we'll sense. talk about that next week. There's, there's oh, you're going to be in next stuff. week. I look forward to that then. That's a dynamite piece of radio to tune in for. The yeah. day Carl sold a chair. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> all right. So you all right then? It's going all right. But why did you take this long to call? We asked you to call since the because very beginning. We've been that. phoning you. Why is your phone being switched off? I heard the beginning. I, I heard the beginning of the show, I thought, yeah, it's going all right, they're there and stuff. Turned it off. Um, you fact, turned I, it off? No, no, I put a tape in, though, because even though I'm ill, I'm still showing an interest in it. Well, you're not. Mm. If you're watching football and shaking. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll listen back to it later, so I hope you haven't been dissing me. No. Right? 
definitely not. Don't listen back to it, it's not worth it, but we haven't been dissing you, no. And I've just been watching, uh... Football, Did you watch the monkey program last night? You told us to watch yeah. the monkey program. We all stayed and watched the monkey program. All right, wasn't it? Was rubbish, wasn't it? Obviously, obviously not half chimp, half human. Well, I mean, they, they missed out a lot of the, the interesting bits. They didn't have any interesting bits. Those are bits that you yeah. made up to make no, it more the interesting. Bits, the bits that I told you about about three months ago before they decided to make the program. Yeah. What were the bits that you came up with? Well, they, they missed out the bits about. Uh, you know, the zookeeper. Right, there wasn't a zookeeper, yeah, go on. Well, there was, but they left that bit out. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> and fine. Out, and they left, le and they, they left out the bit where it ran from there <laughs> in 1975. <laughs> In terms they... of the, those that did research, they actually went and filmed it, you read it on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Chances are you're the one with the facts wrong. Yeah, they, they, uh, they, I think they also left out the bit when it jumped over three double-decker buses on a... Uh, yeah. Motorbike. On Evil Knievel's motorbike. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Not only do you not bother turning up, but you turn off the radio and start watching football. Oh, uh, yeah, I turned it off, but I've, I've recorded it. I'll listen back later and, and sort of... Well, what good is that? Sort of, I, I like to keep, you know, keep it in shape and that. I'll have a word next week. All right. If you receive any phone calls from people you don't know, we don't know anything about that. <laughs> Instantly, we don't know why... Why that is happening? That is just going to be a weird, spooky uh, thing. So and, and don't bother telling the story about uh, Men in Black Two either, because I don't think people would be interested. Men in Black Two. Um, oh. Actually, on the subject of Men in Black Two. <laughs> what? Have you seen that, Steve? No, I haven't, Carl. Tell oh, me about you it. You should see it. Go on. Why? Because there's this, there's this, um, there's this thing in it. <laughs> Go on. Uh. What a stupid, bald, Mancunian tosser. Yeah. Uh, weirder than that. <laughs> There isn't anything weirder than that. Hey guys, it was gangly. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. I know where this is going. I'm, uh, you've got to see it, because you wouldn't believe out the likeness and that you've got to see it out tonight. Right. It's not as weird, it had a normal voice, right? <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate, it ain't worth coming in next week. <laughs> oh, oh, stay on the line, Carl. Play a record player. <laughs> Kings of Leon, Molly's Chambers. What do you think of that, Carl? I've All never right. seen Men in Black, too. <laughs> I don't think surprise. I watched part one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another I'll tell you what, remark. Steve is not a, a fan now. Not only does he know you've been slagging him off behind his back. No, I wasn't slagging Steve. If you get it out on the DVD tonight, you'll know I'm not slagging you off. It could be your brother. <laughs> <laughs> I know the fact that he, it makes it worse, but he's thinking, you're gonna go, oh, he wasn't slugging me off. It does look like me. I do think I'm an alien. I love the fact that you hope Steve will go, he's got a point. It's the, it's, a, no, it's a spin I image. I see what yeah. Carl's saying. I am, seriously, Carl, I'm really angry. I'm so angry with you at the moment. You haven't seen it yet. No, I know, because I know what it's gonna be, and I'm just, I, why? I'm what's, fuming. What's, I'll tell you why I'm angry, because he doesn't do it in jest. No, but what do, do you interest? think it's going to look like? What do you mm. think this thing's going to look like? It's going to look ludicrous. It's not going to look anything like me. But no, he's going to like, pretend it does. No, Go it on, what? Go on. No, it does look like you. Yeah, of course it does. And you looked like the, uh, human Z. <laughs> well... I mean, well. to be honest, you did a bit, Carl. You walked like him, you bowled like him. You got a sort of gormless face like him. <laughs> Any more? I don't smoke. That does. <laughs> I'm not arguing with you. I'm not well on that. <laughs> oh, you're not well. What exactly is wrong with you? You whinger. Well, uh, it's what? just... Do you know, like, a, I always tell you about the, um, restless leg syndrome I've got. <laughs> it's like yeah. that, but all over. So you're <laughs> just shaking around the house? I'm just, yeah. What do you look like? Elvis? What are you doing? You're shaking around the I'll house. I'll tell you, with your bald head, you probably look like an enormous vibrator. <laughs> Oh. Ricky's laugh is the best thing. <laughs> That's what you probably look like if you shoot <laughs> naked. Oh, you'll have a sky. Oh, it's over. I'm so sad. Well, I'm sad and excited. I'm sad because we have finished that compilation, but I'm excited because if you don't already know, Saturdays are Carl, Ricky, Steve days, and sometimes during the week I'll do another piece of content, shorter piece, but Saturdays are always basically Carl days. Um, and Steven. Ricky. But now that I have finished watching that, then next Saturday I can watch the next episode of the Ricky Gervais show because I know there are some people that watch my reactions to the Ricky Gervais show that weren't 
thrilled about me taking time off for this. Uh, but that was, I feel like I have a better sense of the dynamic between the three of them. And I'm not going to so quickly feel sorry for Carl because I did feel sorry for Carl initially when I heard Steve or Ricky call him knob or head or whatever it is they call him. Um, but Carl dishes it too. And so I'm glad that I listened through that compilation. Anyway, I enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Um, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.